Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So I am so sorry that it's been such a long time that I've done like a video where I'm actually talking to you guys and I'm up front and center. I know it's been a really long time, um, but I hope you enjoyed a lot of that decluttering content as well as um, just kind of getting getting the opportunity to take a look at my makeup collection. Um, I really enjoyed filming those, so hopefully you enjoyed watching them. Um, I did do a highlighter declutter, a blush declutter, um, both my cream and liquid blushes as well as my powder blushes, and I also did like a shot my stash, an eyeshadow palette um, basket for the month of July. So there is a lot of content for you to check out um, but I am so happy to be back and to be filming again today um, I am going to be sharing with you the best of 2023 so far. I wanted to film this in June but time got the best of me so I thought there is still time. It's barely kind of mid-July, and these are some products that came out this year. I'm pretty sure most of these came out this year, and I am super impressed with them. I think that they are the best products of 2023 so far, and I cannot wait to see what the rest of the year holds. So this is all gonna be makeup. If you want to see like skincare, body care, like fragrances even from me, let me know in the comments down below. Also, I do want to um, just kind of make this right now an invitation for you to subscribe. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. I am a smaller creator here on YouTube, so everything that you do interaction-wise, engagement, all of that really does help. So please like, please comment. If you are a regular viewer of mine and you are not yet subscribed, please, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. So let's go ahead and get into all of my makeup favorites for 2023. Okay, so let's start, of course, in order that I do my makeup, and that is primer. So this is the one that has really stood out for me. This is the Essence Poreless Partner Primer. This is a mattifying and blurring primer. This reminds me so much of the Rare Beauty Primer. And I do think it's very, very effective at blurring the skin. And I did a little swatch here so that you can take a look at it so it really does kind of have that gel consistency which is so so similar to the rare beauty one and i do think again that this does a really good job at blurring the pores it does claim to mattify the skin a little bit as well and i think any pore filling primer is going to kind of mattify the skin because it's really smoothing out the area um, and so i don't mind that i actually actually prefer it, especially during the warmer months, which I am definitely in right now. Um, and so I really love this. I was actually very, very surprised at how good this formula is. Um, it is definitely a product that I wasn't expecting much from especially because I feel like with Essence, I usually prefer their color cosmetics a little bit more than their base products. Um, I have yet to find a foundation from Essence that I like. Same thing with concealer, but this primer is really, really good and I've been pleasantly surprised with it. So this is my favorite so far of 2023. Then I have two foundations to talk about. So the first one, this is just a really exciting, um, brands that has come and launched into Walmart and it's Relove by Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution, as we know, has so many just brands out there. They have Makeup Revolution, they have Relove, they have XX Revolution, they have um, I Heart Revolution. I mean, there are so many and now they have Relove. And Relove is specifically found in Walmart. And I wanna say everything is under $5. I want to say. Um, but my favorite products from them so far is their Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. So it's just a really small bottle. It's a dropper style um, packaging. And I do wear this shade, what shade is this? F3. This is surprisingly very, very beautiful on the skin. I will say it's a little bit glowy, a little bit dewy on the skin. So if you're not someone who generally likes that type of formula, um, I would stay clear from this because it is pretty glowy. Unless you're wanting to pair it with something that's a little bit more mattifying, I think you would you, you could possibly enjoy it like that. But personally, I do like to pair it with something that isn't super glowy because this is already pretty glowy in itself. But I 
am so surprised at this product. Really, really surprised because again, it's so affordable. I think this is one of the most expensive items in their line. And again, it's only, I think under $5. It's like probably $4.99 or something. Um, but it wears beautifully. It has really beautiful coverage as well as a beautiful finish. Um, and I just, I really do feel like it is like a serum on the skin. So it does feel like it has, um, kind of like that healthy kind of luminous glow to the skin. I do feel like this does that for you. Um, the shade range, of course, because it is a very, very inexpensive brand, the shade range could obviously, obviously be better, right? And so I'm hoping if this brand has been successful for them, I'm hoping that they will invest in just extending their shade range, expanding it, expanding it in their bronzers and their blushes, concealers, foundations, everything. Um, but I will say this is a really great product from Relove and I'm really, really glad that there is yet another very affordable brand that is accessible to most people, especially since now it is in Walmart. So for concealer, I only have one to mention and it's this one from Flower Beauty. This is the get real serum concealer i do wear the shade fair this is really beautiful i really enjoy the coverage on this one i will say the formula though is really what makes this one so special um there are so many concealers out there that great that give good coverage right there's the elf camo concealer the elf hydrating camo concealer of course there's tart shape tape um there's like Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I mean, the list goes on as to how many full coverage concealers there are out there, but this one, it does it in a way where it's not super heavy on the under eyes. I feel like it makes my under eyes look very healthy, look hydrated, but again, it does give them that full coverage. I will say with it being a serum concealer formula, I do think that that really helps again with allowing it to blend a little bit more with ease to be a little bit more hydrating on the under eye. And so I have been pleasantly surprised with this one. Flower Beauty, again, kind of similar to Essence. I just feel like they're a brand that I enjoy more of their color cosmetics from um, because I haven't really found a base product that I really like from them. But this concealer is definitely, definitely very, very good. All right, and then we have Oh, another foundation. I can't believe I forgot to talk about this. Um, this is the L'Oreal True Match. I have never tried the original L'Oreal True Match, the one without the pump. I know that that was seriously the craze years ago, um, but I never tried it. But let me tell you, this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I love that it comes in a pump. This is the shade N3 Neutral Light Medium. Really, really enjoy this formula. This is super beautiful on the skin. And I love the way that it makes your skin look. I mean, it seriously gives your skin a very beautiful finish. Um, it makes it, again, look very healthy, a little bit glowy, but I do feel like you can probably manipulate this one a little bit. So if you were wanting to pair it with a, you know, mattifying primer or maybe a really mattifying powder, I do think that you can just kind of manipulate this one a little bit so that if you do have oily skin you can probably still wear this one um, but I am just so pleasantly surprised again with this one but at the same time I feel like L'Oreal is one of the best foundation brands out there I mean seriously it is very very rare that I don't like a L'Oreal foundation I love their fresh wear foundation I love this one I love their um I think it's like their Radiance Foundation. It's the one that's like in the gold squeezy, squeezy tube. I love, of course, the True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. So I was not surprised by this. But again, I guess because it has been around for so long. And I don't know, did they reformulate this? Let me know if you know, because I have no idea. Because I've never tried the original, so I have nothing to compare it to personally. But if you know that they've changed the, you know, the formula, or if they've updated it, or if it's exactly the same, let me know because I'm very, very curious to find out. So anyways, love this foundation. I love the way that it wears, and it gives very beautiful coverage. So I have a lot of bronzers, of course, to talk about. Um, actually, more blushes, but um, I, I do have three bronzers to talk about. So let's talk about 
hard candy hard candy did some stuff this year they really did i feel like they're kind of slowly becoming more and more popular i felt like they were always very underrated especially because they have really really solid products but they came out with some liquid color products this year so they came out with the face off bronzer so here's what it looks like it does come in a doe foot and this is in the shade sweet tea this is the luminous gel bronzer and it really is that it is a gel formula so it does feel like a liquid but the formula is very very gel like um, and then it is luminous so here is a swatch of this one again this is in the shade sweet tea and you can just see how beautiful and how easily this blends out onto the skin man this makes me want to use this one um, very soon again but I love how easy this is to use. I love how easy this is to use. That was one of my issues with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I felt like it was very hard to blend out because of how pigmented it was. And that's because I had the shade that was for, you know, lighter complexions. And I'm just very glad that the drugstore did it a little bit better in my opinion because again this is just so easy to use i literally just stripe some on my cheeks on my forehead maybe on my jawline depending if i'm wanting to contour a little bit more and it blends out just like just like that literally in seconds it just blends into the skin so beautifully and i want to say they have two or three shades again definitely wish that they would expand the shade range on this one i think that this one has gained enough popularity that they probably could afford to go ahead and do that right now um hopefully hopefully they will we will see but um this is just such a good product and seriously if you have not tried it highly highly recommend um, another liquid contour is of course the elf halo glow beauty wand this is the contour specifically and i do have the shade light medium so this is of course coming after charlotte tilbury as pretty much what elf is doing nowadays um, but this is a beautiful formula i'm not super crazy about the blushes in this line but i really really enjoy the bronzer this again just blends out out so so easily it's almost in seconds how easily this blends out and I'm kind of surprised at how there are some people that don't like this because I think this is actually a very very easy formula to use I have a, tr a hard time with the blushes in this line um, they're actually kind of on my chopping block I picked up one of them and I still feel that they're a little bit hard to blend out that they look a little bit patchy on the skin and so I'm actually struggling with that formula but the contour has been my absolute favorite lately I mean I um, when I first got it I was using it a lot and I did not want to put it down because this is very very good um, I do think the shade light medium is really great if you are close to my skin tone or a little bit uh, Maybe even lighter as well really really enjoy this one. It's super blendable. It's creamy. It's buildable It blends out so easily. So yes, I cannot say enough good things about that product one last bronzer and this is the elf luminous putty bronzer i love this formula i think this is really beautiful um it's very hard to tell but you can see that it is a little bit more of a luminous formula i do have the shade summer fridays and this one definitely takes some building up i will say but once you build it up it can look so so pretty on the skin so here it is swatched out and blended out in my hand and you can just see just kind of how luminous this looks on the skin this is very beautiful i think this is a perfect product for summer i think i talked about that in my summer makeup bag video um, which i will have links down below because there are some repeats in this video for that video um, but i think that some of these products are just so so good for summer and i think that this elf luminous putty bronzer is definitely one of them I also enjoy their regular putty bronzer. I think those are also really well, it's uh, really beautiful and a really great product as well. But if you're looking for something just to kind of step up your bronzer game a little bit, I think the luminous ones are a great way to do that. 
Then we have blushes. And so for blush, I have quite a few here. Let's start with, again, Hard Candy. They came out very similar to the bronzers. They came out with blushes. These are the, fa these are the Face Off Gel Blushes. These are the Luminous Blushes. And I have two shades. I have the shade Who Is She and Born Yesterday. Super, super stunning. And so Who Is She is definitely my favorite. This is more kind of a pinky red or like berry color really really pretty and then born yesterday is most people's favorite because it is very similar to that viral just kind of hot pink blush color that everybody is crazy about nowadays and so here is that one so really beautiful color payoff i think the color who is she will work for more deeper skin tones and then born yesterday could probably you know range out as well but this is a beautiful formula very similar to the bronzer where it's very easy to blend out i literally just dab a few dots on my cheeks blend them out and it's within seconds that they're already blended out into the skin it's not like rare beauty um, where you have to just apply very little and then it's like so much product at once or it's so much pigment at once that is not the case these you can add almost as much as you want and it will blend out so beautifully and with so much ease so really enjoy that I think hard candy just killed it with these new products um, obviously there are some you know misses for me with the brand as well but overall i think it is just as i think it is just such a good brand then we have another liquid blush from the drugstore and these kind of recently came out they haven't been out very long um, these are the juvia's place liquid blushes and i have two shades but i just pulled out one um, this is the shade blush lily but i totally think that they were coming after the rare beauty blushes because these are so pigmented these are so pigmented these might even be more pigmented than than, than the rare beauty ones that's kind Kind of been um i would say like a large majority of people have been saying that um i have actually not compared the two of them together but this is the shade blush lily again that very viral hot pink color and i will say that these are a beautiful formula very easy to blend out they are very pigmented so i do recommend going in with a lighter hand um, but the formula is really nice the only thing i will say is that these are 18 dollars now at ulta you can use the 350 off coupon for juvia's place thankfully because juvia's place is a little bit pricey um, so with that in mind you can probably get this blush for about 15 or 14 dollars however i still prefer the rare beauty formula and the rare beauty blushes i think they're only like 20 or 22 dollars and with these being 18 full price I just feel like for that, you might as well just go for the Rare Beauty ones. Now, of course, you can get these more on sale than the Rare Beauty because obviously Juvia's Place is a drugstore brand on the Ulta side. Um, and so I would just keep that in mind. If you have always wanted to try the Rare Beauty blushes and you're wanting just to go for this because it's cheaper, just go for the Rare Beauty in my opinion. I think that the shades are more pretty on the Rare Beauty side. I also just still enjoy that formula a little bit more, but these are very good. And again, I just love that there are more options out there, especially because a lot of Rare Beauty's products do go out of stock. And so if you're looking just for a liquid blush and something again that's at Ulta definitely check out these because they are really really stunning um, and again they're very pigmented and even if even though they are very pigmented you can still blend them out very easily so nothing too scary there and then something that is a little bit more expensive um, these are the Charlotte Tilbury matte beauty blush wands I actually really really like this I do have the shade pink pop and this is really pretty I actually really enjoy how this looks on the skin and I do think that this shade is very adorable um, I, I really do um, it is a product that a lot of people were kind of confused as to like why they were calling these matte but i don't think anything liquid or cream is going to be matte completely unless it blends to a powder formula but these are more matte than her original ones because they don't have like that luminous like quality to them 
or shimmery quality to them because I do feel like her normal ones, like the ones she originally came out with, I do feel like those are almost like a blush slash highlighter in one. These are more of just a blush. So love the shade Pink Pop. I really enjoy this formula. One thing I love about this color in particular is I feel like it is just so brightening on the skin. I feel like, you know, you could maybe combine some blushes together. Um, like maybe you want to apply something, you know, darker on this side. And then if you wanted to go in with like this color, this will look so brightened on, you know, on the cheeks. And so I really enjoy not only the formula, but I think specifically the shade a lot because it is very brightening on the skin. So love that product and I'm very happy with it. I know it's been a little bit hit or miss with some people, but I really do enjoy that one. Um, then we have a powder blush. And of course I have to talk about the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes. These are so popular amongst so many people for good reason. Um, I do have the shade Bold Heart. This is a perfect blush for summer, by the way, in case you're looking for a nice powder blush, but this is a really nice formula. It is going to look, again, very healthy on the skin. It's gonna give your skin a little bit of a glow, which is really nice, so it's not just like a flat matte powder blush. Um, and I know that cream and liquid blushes are all the rage right now, but definitely check out this formula. It's very affordable. I think it's either under $5 or maybe at $5. And again, you can find these at Ulta. Really enjoy this formula. I'm sure most of you have probably even already tried these out yet uh, already. So um, hopefully you're enjoying them as well if you did pick them up. And then this is kind of a mixed product. So this is kind of like a blush topper or a highlighter, depending on how you wish to use it. But JCAT Beauty came out with these beautiful baked highlighters. Um, this is the You Glow Girl baked highlighter in the shade Crimson Gleam. This is absolutely stunning. I use this more as a highlighter, but it can work as a blush topper. Um, and this is so, so stunning. I am so impressed with this one. This one is so, so pretty. It has kind of like that pinky shift to it. And I was kind of expecting this maybe to be a little bit like the um, House Labs um, Rose Quartz kind of baked highlighter or just what do they call those bio radiant gel highlighters um that one however is more like an actual blush for me at least for my skin tone this like i said i do use this more as a as an actual highlighter it works beautifully it has a beautiful formula and jcap beauty is definitely a brand that i want to try more from because i think that they have a ton of just hidden gems really high performing products out there so i hope to try some more from that brand and then a product I actually forgot to talk about, and I don't know if this came out this year. I hadn't, I've never seen this product before at Shop Miss A until this year. Um, and so I'm thinking it's new. And this is from the, the brand AOA Studio. Again, you can find this at Shop Miss A. And this is their um, setting powder. It's their Puff and Set Setting Powder, and I got it in the brightening shade. So here's what it looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it does have like a yellow hue to it. And then here is the powder, like the brand and the name. This is so beautiful on the under eyes, specifically the shade Brightening. That is the one that I picked up. It is so pretty on the under eyes, and I... I would say I, I had pretty high expectations for this product because I have used up completely an AOA Studio um, setting powder before. I think it's called like their perfect setting powder and I've loved it. Like I love that powder. And so I had high hopes for this one because I did enjoy that other powder so much from them. And this is very beautiful on the under, on, on the under eyes. It is really just an easy way to kind of look like you're more awake, to look like your eyes are more brightened and it's very affordable. I, I have it here on the sticker. It says it was $1.88. So that's always really, really exciting to find such an affordable makeup product that really does make a difference in your routine. Okay, one other highlighter before we move on to some lip products. Um, 
I love this. And again, I feel like this is a product that a lot of people didn't really love. Um, this is the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush Highlight in the shade Luminoso. I love this. I use this more as a highlighter slash blush topper. And I do think that the shade Luminoso is really pretty. It gives you like this really beautiful, just pink or peach flush to the skin, like a peach highlighter, peach glow to the skin. So here it is. I don't know if you can even see it, but it is a little bit more peachy, which is really pretty. I really like this. I do. I love using it as a highlighter. I really try to focus it more like towards the backside right here so that it's a highlighter, but it's also adding some color and dimension to the cheeks. So really love this. I still see this in my Walmart stores. So definitely check this out if you like, I think what it was was that people were expecting this to be like the Charlotte Tilbury um, blush wands, like maybe for the shade Peach Gasm. But this is definitely more of a highlighter or more of a blush topper. And so if you go in already having that expectation, um, then of course you probably won't like it. But if you use it for kind of similar purposes to what I use it for, you'll probably really enjoy it. And I think it'll be a fun way to kind of, again, elevate your blush. So now I think I just have one more product. Is that correct? Yes. And it's really just the NYX fat oil. This is the fat lip drip oil, lip drip fat oil. I hate the name of this. Like seriously, I don't know what they were thinking. I also don't really like the packaging. I don't like the bright green. I think that's one of the things with like drugstore and more high-end makeup. I feel like with drugstore, you're always going to get a little bit and not cheaper packaging in, in the sense of like, this is going to break or that it's not durable. No, but it's just like, it looks cheap. Do you know what I'm saying? So anyways, this is what it looks like. I do have the shade scrolling, which is really beautiful. It's a really nice, just kind of brownie nude color. I have been wanting to get the pink color, but it's always sold out. Um, like in store at Ulta. So I haven't picked it up yet, but this is the shade scroll in. It's like a beautiful brownie nude color. And I really enjoy this formula. I think what I like about it is that it's not super, super glossy like a lip oil. I really do feel like these are more of a lip gloss, but they are so cushiony on the lips. It feels hydrating. It's, it's non-sticky at all because I hate sticky lip formulas. This is definitely non-sticky, um, but it is just very hydrating on the lips and it does just feel, again, very cushiony, very pillowy on the lips. So really enjoy this. I know a lot of people are enjoying it as well. Those are all of the products that I've been loving so far in 2023. These are all of the products I believe that have come out in 2023 that I think really did kind of stand out for me. I cannot wait again to see what the what the rest of the year holds when it comes to new makeup releases, especially at the drugstore side. I think that that's always very exciting. Um, I didn't have any eyeshadow palettes or anything like that because I feel like I'm still, you know, like for instance, the Natasha Denona Yucca palette, I did purchase that, but I'm still trying to figure out um, you know, like if I love it, it's a, if it's a favorite, I do think the formula is really, really great, but I'm still, you know, kind of learning the formula a little bit or learning that palette and color story a little bit. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. What are your favorites so far for 2023? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube channel family here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye.